Welcome to the DCB Energy Hub, just launched south of Schiphol near Hoofdorp, where they built this crazy place full of fast chargers. Three of them doing 150 or promising 150 kilowatts. The gum on my e jumpy just dropped down to look at the blue light. Um, dropped down to eight kilometers without me doing actually anything. So that is pretty damn interesting. Um, so it must be pretty empty. Let's connect this charger and see what happens. I'm pretty curious. Blinking starts. Car says charging finished, but I found out that that is actually normal. When you're starting the charge, it's actually, look at how low these meters are indicating still, because these chargers are brand new. Wow, it says 10% and the gum told me eight kilometers. So that's really weird. I don't know what to believe now. So that eight kilometers was definitely fake. Nearly 200 amps, never had that before. But this is strange, right? No indication of the charging speed. Uh, that is funny. So it shows all these values that you don't expect, sort of. So 55 seconds to one kilowatt hour. What does the car say? 500 kilometers per hour, nearly two hours for a full charge. Well, that is not what we came for, right? Hmm. This is actually really strange. The amps are already dropping, which is a bit sad. Too early for that, I would say. So what to think of this? Um, well, so the, the gasometer dropped like a brick because I actually left downtown Amsterdam just half an hour ago with 40 kilometers on the gum. Sometimes it went up to 42, 44. It's not very stable, like the DS3 really, which is uh, too bad because I like gums that I can trust. Um, oh, an airplane. Anyway, so, and arriving here, it was only 20 kilometers to get here. So the gum lost 10 kilometers in nothing. So it is pretty sad to see these amps dropping rapidly, already back to 180. I was hoping that it could stick to the 200 for a bit. Uh, here it still says 500 kilometer per hour. Obviously, we don't believe that. Um, we also don't know the consumption that it uh, does the calculations with. So what to say about this uh, charging facility? Well, what is interesting is that even the 50 kilowatt machines only offer CCS over here and CHAdeMO over here. That seems to be the case for all of them. Also, not all of them are working. Uh, which is also interesting. Actually, temporary unavailable seems to be the case for many. Uh, okay, this one is actually working. Somebody changed the language to Turkish, what it looks like. Pretty cool. And this one is still talking Dutch. So, yeah, I don't think that they serve type 2 here. And don't, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm surprised. An Alphen installation, as you can see. 
Uh, I like the lights here, right? It's a, it's a good setting because there's some... Um, how do you call these things? Well, here's a communication error. So there's many things going on. I like this indication, even though, as you can see, this will only... Yeah, you can only see it from the side. And as you can see also, I had to park really on this side of the spot. So as you can see, I'm totally on the right side, which was necessary because the cord is actually very short, which for some cars will be quite annoying when it gets busy here. At least they made these parking spots, charging spots really wide. So I agree with that, even though I would even agree more if they just did these lines, just removed these lines, because actually for me to charge comfortably, I sort of need to park on the line. Uh, yeah. And this is all, yeah, you know, you need to know that the CCS connector is on the right, which is hard to see when you come here for the first time. You get my point, right? It's uh, yeah, it's hard to figure these things out, and most people will not charge here every week. So you need to help us a little bit and put better signposts and whatever. So the amps seem pretty stable. Five and a half minutes to seven kilowatt hours of charge. I mean, yeah, it is not great, right? Or are you impressed? I was hoping for more, but it's also only five degrees out, I think. My hands are getting cold from filming this. And yeah, of course, I have been driving quite a bit today, but not really long highway stretches. So the battery cannot be really warm. I don't believe that, even though I, I pushed it getting here. It was just a short ride and uh, yeah, cold day. So yeah, maybe, maybe this is all that I could expect anyway. And I also don't know these chargers, so I have no idea if they can actually deliver what they promise. This one is also not functional, so temporarily unavailable seems to be the case for quite some machines this one is working though and also 150 kilowatts interesting spot okay so that machine is just lying it's also interesting that this is talking dutch to me but then this button is Annulé, so that's sort of French, but I don't know if they actually mean it or not. Let's just check these. So they are. So the two meters, both the up one and the down one are actually working together so they all s they both seem to go up yeah yeah they are as you can see so that yeah what is what is the idea i don't know these machines and i looked for a branding when i saw this machine the other day i also they're so from the outside, there's no difference to the 50 kilowatt machine and the 150. So there will be just more modules in the 150 one. As you can see, this one only outputted 20 kilowatt hours in total of all its existence. Uh, but there's no badge on these machines at all. So I have no, no clue what brand or what specs we must be thinking here. Uh, sorry about that. So these can these chargers are connected to the eFlux network and they're supposed to charge you 30 cents 
per kilowatt hour which makes them fairly cheap compared to other fast charging options in the Netherlands but these chargers aren't in a lot of places yet so when you're not close to Schiphol and as you can see not many people are because I'm completely alone on this deserted energy facility I don't know how to call this fuel your future my goodness I mean they did you know they are serious there's still more physical space for the old school fuel uh, stuff but HVO 100 I don't even know what that is do you? anyway they expect uh, many trucks here I guess they have HVO 30 and HVO 100 I have to look this up because I never heard of this uh, probably some truck uh, fuel so I wanted to say that the chargers that I'm using are very silent but then sometimes the cooling starts which is happening now again and then they're suddenly not silent at all so luckily nobody's living nearby and the airplanes Whew, so noisy the airplanes make far more sound than these machines ever will okay so 10 minutes got us 30 percent and 13 kilowatt hours well and the amps dropped to 100 and 160 now so yeah i guess that's enough i will uh, i will visit fastnet i think to check um, what the chargers over there say but it was interesting to visit this place the new motion badge works i tested that an ecotop uh, should be the cheapest to use here if you want to get the best pricing you should try the ecotop app let me check if that actually works here see you later with the e jumpy around the netherlands ciao